next, it is a welterweight title fight between Bruce Lee and Tom Breeze. Hey guys, this is Mr. Jojo today I'll be showing you the welterweight championship between Bruce Lee and Tom Breeze. I hope you guys gonna like it. Alright, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170 pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is going to maximize it and lead as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, and in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters, with big differences in height, but a similar reach. Now to get a start of the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 12 wins, three losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Tom Breeze. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. All right, this is for the UFC championship. I want you to warm up your hands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. The fighters touch gloves. Ready? All right, ready? All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway. And you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-two. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed. Nice shot by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Stuffs the...
the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Can't take many of those. You better check. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Lee. And they separate. Nice punch there by Breeze. It's such a fast leg kick. Single collar tie now. Nice head kick. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Breeze gets lit up by that uppercut. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. And he caught the kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Breeze gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. And he landed the right hand there. And that one was heavy. takedown defense on full display yet again. It's held up for him. He does a fantastic job of squaring up his hips, getting his legs back, and understanding not to allow his opponent to get going on his takedown finish. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Nice kick there by Breeze. Well placed with the kick. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Head kick attempt, that one is blocked. Try to establish that jab. Great punch landed with so much power. Nice leg kick lands. Now connects with a right. Looking to land the leg kick now. There by Breeze. Throw it. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Nice hammer fist. Breeze's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm, it's the short Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? Second round underway. Effective strike there by Lee. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. 
Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Big kick lands. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Just misses with the straight left hand. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Effective punch there by Lee. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Kick to the body by Briggs. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll, suddenly, he'll change his stance. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Nice play. Oh! Shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Massive head kick. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two? Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Freeze his uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. Hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. <laughs> Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Lee's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Oh, he's unable to find the target with that uppercut. Nice kick landed there by Lee. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Freeze's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Nice loop at once. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired results. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Wow, what a kick! Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Just misses there with the left. Watch the punch. Throws the right hand there. Oh, that is a furious inside leg kick. You ever taken like a five finger to the inside of your leg? That don't feel good. Never mind a kick like that. A full, I mean, slapping your leg hurts. Imagine someone this side kicking you with his shit in the inside of your leg. You cannot take many of those kicks. Wait. All right, that's the end of round number two. No, 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 no.
All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Ready? Ready? Let's All go. right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, and there's a takedown attempt, DC. Not a great one. Might as well tell your opponent you're shooting, huh? Yeah, he's your best friend. Tell him that you want to take him to his back and watch him defend and then beat you up when the fight stands. Oh, beautiful combination of kicks. And they separate. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. What a punch. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. There's no give on that leg kick. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Big knee lands to the body. Lee's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Big leg kick lands. Pretty significant well to the left side. Nice straight punch. Slips the punch. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate. He's so educated. He's so able to fight from both fighting stances. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. That punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. If that was a perfect shot. And they separate. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Punches blow. Beautiful strike. Trying to double up on that jab. Huge connection right in there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight.
And there he is, our UFC welterweight champion of the world. He's gonna like the sound of that. Getting it done with style points by way of knockout here tonight. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. So this is the welterweight championship between Bruce Lee and Tom Breeze. Thank you guys for watching. officially on after a successful UFC welterweight title defense here tonight. He will go out the same way he came in as the undisputed UFC welterweight champion. He is your winner by knockout. And what a way to send a statement to the rest of the contenders in this division that it is going to take a monumental effort to dethrone this 170-pound king.